Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Fortinet Accelerate 18. Brought to you by Fortinet. Hi, welcome back to Fortinet Accelerate 2018. I am Lisa Martin with theCUBE. We're excited to be here for our second year. I'm joined by Peter Burris from theCUBE as well, and we're very excited to be joined by our next guest, John Bogue, the Vice President of America's Channels at Fortinet. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you for having us. So it's exciting for us to be here. I, as a marketer, geek out on taglines. Yep. So I'd love for you to kind of tell our viewers um, strength in numbers Yep. as the title of the event. What does that mean? Well, it's really about the, the depth and breadth of what Fortinet's doing in the marketplace. You know, bringing the security fabric, uh, not only to our customers, but to enable our, 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 our partner community, right? So Accelerate is a collection, we have about a, almost 3,000 attendees here, about 2,300 of those are our uh, carrier partners, resale partners, managed security service providers, and also our Fabric Ready Alliance partners, right? So the, fa the security fabric has allowed us to incorporate you know, some additional third-party technologies, right? And it's really, we're creating a, a really strong culture around um, you know, integration and, and openness. Before we get into the technology, let's talk about pivot on that culture for a second. Because sure. one of the things that, that was evident from the keynotes yep. this morning that Kenzie talked about was really this long-standing partner-driven culture that Fortinet has. You've recently come back to Fortinet. I have. Tell us about you being a boomerang, what excites you about coming back, but also how has that culture of really being partner-focused and maybe partner-first evolved? Well, the, the channel first culture at Fortinet makes my job really easy, right? And, and the reason that I came back was, was here with the company for six years. We experienced a tremendous you know, run of revenue. Um, and to have the opportunity to lead the, you know, the, the America's Channel organization is a great privilege. But it really comes from the culture within the company of being a, a channel leverage and a channel first company. I think, you know, in, in Patrice's keynote this morning and in, in Ken's keynote as well, they really talked about the, the, the channel program and the channel partners. You know, the, the partners are the fabric of what we do as an organization, you know, and, and we're delivering the security fabric, something that they can build a business around. So as you think about what the type of, or the nature of the changes that are taking place in all business, sure. digital business, and as we've heard today, the rapidity with which change is happening in yep. the security world, uh, that, I got to believe, is putting a fair amount of stress on your partners because they have to come up to speed very, very rapidly on new things, even as they demonstrate that they can sustain operational excellence for old things. What is the role that education's playing, acculturating your partners to a new network or a new approach to doing things? How is that leading to a better set of capabilities for your customers? Sure. Well, I think the one change in this digital transformation era is is change, right? Uh, we're seeing customers consume technologies much differently than they ever have before, and so our partners have to be in a situation to be able to deliver those, those technologies. We're seeing the, the threat landscape continue to widen um, and, and be very broad in nature, and so uh, existing postures and existing deployments are not necessarily going to be able to protect those customers, and quite frankly, from a partner standpoint, the way that they look at their business and build their business need, needs to be different today than, than it was due to the, the change that digital transformation transformation is driving. So in terms of, of your sort of symbiosis with the channel, we talked with, um, with Phil Quaid just a minute ago, we talked about you know, how, how our CISO's looking to him to say how, how are you guys doing this at Fortinet in terms of security. Tell me about the symbiotic relationship with, with your partners. What information are they bringing to you from the front lines, from the customers, whether it's education, Fed, SLED, healthcare, that is helping to evolve Fortinet's technologies. I mean, at the end of the day, security is a very noisy space right now, right? And we depend upon our partners, not only to ensure that our programs and, and how we go deliver uh, you know, value to them, but also in what the customers are telling them and what they're seeing in the marketplace today. Uh, we're really focused on service enablement and the service delivery uh, because the transactional type of business that we've seen in the past is, is no longer the, the route to market for success for you know, the, the broad-based you know, channel organizations, right? So you know, we have a responsibility as a company to ensure that our partners have the capabilities to deliver services in ways that customers want to you know, consume. 
Um, you know, we, IOT is a marketplace that's been created, right? OT is opportunistic for the bad actors, right? Uh, the move to, of workloads to public clouds and SaaS-based applications, um, and the fabric is really resonating with those partners in terms of being able to meet those customers' changing needs. And you guys have had a, do a partner advisory council. We do. How long has that been going on, and what are some of the things that excite you about it? Yeah, so uh, over 10 years we've had a partner advisory council. And it's, you know, it's, it's industry leaders that are business owners and business drivers that you know, really kind of keep us honest about what we're doing internally. They have access to our executive staff, they have access to you know, product roadmaps as well. And you know, with the creation of the fabric and what we're doing with our alliance partnerships, you know, they're kind of helping fill some of those holes as to you know, what we're seeing in the marketplace today. Um, you know, I think today we, we announced 11 additional Fabric Alliance partners you know, today. Uh, organizations like Phantom for orchestration and automation. Right? Integration is truly the new best of breed, but the ability to react when things occur and to orchestrate and to automate those, those controls are really important. And the company's done a great job and we attribute a lot of that guidance to our partner advisory council. As Fortinet grows and expands its footprint, puts in place new types of arrangements like the CTA, and other types of things, its ecosystem continues to expand in a way that Fortinet is moving towards the center, more of a focus, at least a loci right. within the ecosystem. What does that mean from your ability to get partners to, to influence partner behavior and customers and get more pull through out of the entire ecosystem? And how's that going to shape the way Fortinet competes, the way Fortinet serves its customers over the next few years? I think, simply put, you know, the tailwinds we have behind us. You know, we're on the precipice of $2 billion in revenue. You know, we've got now line of sight to three and four you know, here pretty quickly. We, we, we definitely think that the fabric is going to allow us to continue to scale and grow you know, through that partner community. But quite frankly, I am amazed, just in my time here, uh, you know, how partners have embraced and really wrapped a, a business practice and the services first business practice you know, around that fabric. So we're really excited about the opportunity that we have at hand. Um, I think the fabric is going to continue to uh, you know, change the game, right? It's not about you know, products, it's about delivering an integrated solution. Speaking of, of the fabric, I was kind of, kind of thinking of pivoting on what you were saying, Peter, about differentiation. When partners have choices of, of companies to work with, you guys have been in this space for a very long time, have, yep. but besides the, the fabric, what are some of the, maybe the other top two differentiators where a partner may be coming into the program goes, I get it. From for, for with this partnership with Fortinet, we can go and really revolutionize customers in any industry. You know, we're really unique in the market because we serve from the SMB to the mid-market to the enterprise and some of the you know, largest service provider brands. Uh, and that affords our partner community to be extremely diverse. And we want to be very easy to work with. So I think more than anything, my goal is to be uh, simple and predictable uh, in nature and ensure that we're driving a very margin-rich solution. Um, you know, a lot of companies in the market will be enterprise focused or mid-market focused. And so, you know, we're really keen on establishing clear routes to market with our partner community, um, aligning and investing where, where, they, uh, where they fit, uh, and then taking advantage of some of the even vertical opportunities that the, the partners present based on those capabilities. I was, uh, we were chatting a little bit earlier about education and that was one of the things I was reading yeah. that um, in some articles that some of your guys did and, and it's been a while since I've been in, in college and, and it's just, it's so remarkable um, how, you know, smart classrooms and it's BYOD and how, how vulnerable, you know, school districts are for obvious reasons that we won't go into for political reasons, but even from, from a security perspective, yep. I'm curious if there's any kind of maybe favorite example that you have of, of, a, of a, a partner, a customer sure. through the channel in education that has really been able to facilitate a digital business transformation with the underpinning of security, security yeah. transformation. I actually was just in a partner meeting and we were talking about that very topic uh, and they had established with a, a one of the top five largest school districts uh, in the United States, a you know, a fully deployed uh, wireless mesh network that they, once that was deployed, then they were really able to underpin it with, you know, the, the FortiGate, Fort, Fort FortiOS, and really be able to deliver the security posture back through that, that wireless infrastructure. Um, you know, you make a really good point. We're seeing more and more internet connected devices. Uh, a lot of those internet connected devices are very low end in terms of their overall price point. And so these organizations are not necessarily pushing out vulnerabilities to it um, and, and, and patches and, and remediation. And that's why IoT security is so important in, in that kind of K through 12 example, right? Leveraging 40 OS, 
uh, connecting to both LAN and wireless LAN capabilities, and it really, uh, that's a great use case of uh, how the fabric can impact a customer. So as you imagine the role the partners are going to play in the future, uh, will they be more uh, purveyors of hardware, purveyors of software, purveyors of services. How do you think the ecosystem is going to evolve as Fortinet expands its sure. footprint? Sure, that's a really good question. And, and quite frankly, I spend a lot of my time thinking about that, right? I, I feel, I truly feel like we have an obligation and a responsibility to help our partners through this digital transformation um, into where we think things are going to go. Things are moving towards security as a service, things are moving towards um, you know, on demand, you know, pay as you go, consumption modeling, right? Um, and we have to put our partners in a situation to be able to deliver goods and services to our uh, customer base the way they want to buy and make sure that they're driving value and after the transaction. Because, you know, selling to the transaction is probably going to be a, a, a dying, you know, breed. It's really important that partners have the capabilities to uh, install, deploy, and support uh, on the ongoing basis in which is really becoming a best practice uh, in the security space. And one of the other interesting things about digital business is that historically businesses have been aligned by the arrangement of their assets. So you could look at a transportation company and say, oh, that company is transportation assets, or a financial services company and say, oh, that company is financial services assets. But digital business starts changing that because when you bring programmability and uh, and, and digital orientation to a lot of these assets, you reduce the specificity of all those assets, which increases mobility across businesses. That's right. How do you think uh, the opportunity of helping partners transform in this digital business way is going to increase the noise or complexity or the interconnectedness and the potential conflicts within partners as they go after, as, they, as their expertise and their relationships becomes more fungible. <clears throat> that's a really, I mean, that's a really good point. Uh, we deal, and we want to ensure that we've got uh, a programmatic way to handle, you know, channel conflict, right? I mean, at the end of the day, partner brings us But business. also channel opportunity. And channel opportunity, that's right. Um, you know, so it's, it's really about being consistent in how you treat uh, you know, the partner community and having really you know, set rules. But you know, digital transformation, if anything else, the thing that makes Fortinet so unique is we are an engineering company. Um, security is very complicated, uh, and the good news is, is that at the heart of what we do is technology. The feedback we continue to get from our partners is that our, our technology is, is second to none. Uh, so we win on the technology side. And now with the momentum that we're seeing with the, you know, the Fabric Ready Alliance programs, the momentum that we're seeing in the marketplace, and really kind of being prepared for the shift right. uh, of technology by introducing the Fabric concept, you know, we're, we're really excited about the opportunity for our partners and the role they're going to play uh, in the coming years. So as we kind of you know, wrap things up here, I'll, I'll go back to where we started off with John and talking about the strength in numbers and some things that, that I wrote down that, that uh, I think Patrice shared this morning. Nearly 18,000 new customers acquired in 2017. That's right. What are your, as the channel chief, what are your hopes and dreams for what that number will look like at the, by the end of 2018? I mean, at the end of the day, I, I want to be able to drive uh, an enabled channel organization to go uh, take advantage of the, the tailwinds in the market, right? We want to go continue to drive market share in the SMB, that's going to be partner-led. We want to go expand in the fabric, you know, within the mid-market, and we want to be very opportunistic in the enterprise to go knock down some of the largest logos. You know, I'm mostly, you know, the opportunity we have in, in, in the U.S. alone is, is really quite significant. Um, and we're really excited to see, you know, as you know, we just e exceeded the half a billion dollar mark in Q4 for the first time as a company, and so as we start, you know, planning in, in future quarters, it's really exciting to be, be a part of uh, the momentum we have here at Fortinet. And I think the momentum is, is tangible. You can feel it here, you can hear it behind us in, in, in the expo. So quite exciting. We okay. thank you so much, John, for stopping by theCUBE. Thank sharing, you, thanks um, for having us. Absolutely, sharing your insights and how the, uh, I'm feeling another tagline with the fabric of our lives, but I think somebody else beat, beat you guys to it. <laughs> Cotton, maybe? <laughs> anyway, thanks so much, John, for sharing what, uh, what's going on in the channel, and we wish you a great show. Thank you, thank you very much. And for my co-host Peter Burris, I'm Lisa Martin. You've been watching theCUBE live from Fortinet Accelerate 2018. Stick around, we'll be right back.